Hello everyone. Now some of you may have seen I made a bit of a disastrous live uh, video the other day. The software wasn't working, the cameras weren't playing ball with the software or with the computer. It all just went to hell in handcarts. But I did that live just very quickly as to make a few announcements. One of them was to announce the three year birthday of the channel which I'm overjoyed with. Yes, Greenside was three years old now. The second one was to announce my new Patreon space. Yeah, I've got a new Patreon space now and I'll be uploading content onto there for a very small fee, simply because um, I wanted somewhere where I could test material and see if people like it. And also to put extra content up there for those people who want to give to me. I've had this um, over the last year or two, people wanted to say, how can I contribute? How can I help? Uh, and that's one way of doing it. Um, and the link to that will be in the description underneath this video. And the third thing was to announce the winners of the microgreen drawer I held. Now, I had two winners, John Thompson and Isabel Holland. I've had contact from John from the live that I did. And I'm waiting for Isabel if he could contact me. And I'll put the email address up just down the bottom of this screen now so that you can contact me and then we can get the prizes sorted out and sent out at the same time. The main thing I wanted to talk about today is I'm going to sow some seeds in a minute and there's lots of conjecture at this time of year. Can you sow seeds in January? Is it too early? Is there enough light? Is there enough heat? Is there this X, Y and Z? Well, I can tell you, yes, you can sow seeds at this time of year. And I'll tell you why. And it's something that's not often used anymore. And that is the hardiness of plants. Now, if you go and buy a, a nice, fancy pictorial seed packet, like these cauliflowers I've got here. I'm just looking, actually, to see if it says it on here can't see it on here. Seed packets always used to say whether they were hardy, half hardy, annuals, biannuals, perennials, and these were a good indication as to what the plant would do when you needed to sow it and how hardy it was. And what that generally means is the hardier the plant, the more of a cold it can take. Now something like, let's say for instance, a sweet pea is hardy and you can sow them any time between sort of August, September, all the way up until the following March. And they will stand the cold. You germinate them, get them going, then you just leave them in a cool greenhouse like this. And they will stand the cold. They might get even a little bit nipped by the frost on the tips of the leaves and they might go sort of clear and um, really light in colour. They might get nipped, but they will survive. And that's the hardiness ratings. And that's the important thing to note for sowing seeds early. Now, when I was learning with my granddad, he used to make me go to the library, go and have a look at a book, and generally I would have to go to the adult section, not the child section, and have a look at the, the books because I couldn't take them out. And I could go and look at a hardy seed list, for example. And while I was looking to see if the plants I wanted to grow was in that list, at the same time, I would also be taking in the information either side of it. So the other plants that I could grow at that time of the year. And by doing that and by sending me to the library, it taught me those hardiness ratings of different plants. And he used to make me do it for everything. He had the information up there. He was a career gardener but he still made me go and look it up and search for it and learn for myself. And you could do the same thing now. Now we've got the internet at our fingers. We've got it on our phones, on tablets. Some people have it on the TVs even. So there is access available there. If you're thinking of sowing a plant, a seed for a plant, then go and check up on the hardiness ratings. Go and investigate the plant itself and find out its hardiness. I'm sowing some broad beans here. These are hardy down to minus 10. And it's part of the reason why I'm sowing them now in January because I sowed them last autumn and I had the plants growing and I had them growing in two locations on the allotment plot. Then we had that big freeze. Minus 15, minus 17 we had here. Really, really cold much lower than the minus 10 that these will stand. So these plants died. So I'm having to re-sow them. And I can sow them safely now. These will germinate on my kitchen floor. 
once they've germinated I shall pop them back out here in the cold greenhouse or take them down to the polytunnel and put them on the hanging shelf and they'll grow away slowly but happily there and they'll get enough light to grow and we'll have the broad beans this season so you could sow these now and all the way for the next month maybe two months even and even past then you can grow a variety called the sultan which is a dwarf variety you can sow that quite late all the way up into april and get a crop from them so but i say they're hardy and they will last and they will take a cold spell much the same as this one this cauliflower now i'm sowing this one early simply because they prefer a cooler climate so you get to a hot summer and it can be the devil's own job to get them to to get them to grow the heads which is the, you know the curds which is what you want to uh, harvest to eat so i'm just going to sow a load onto this little tray and i'll sow again a bit later chance that we can get a later crop in the year but i won't hold my chances out these will be pricked out and we'll grow these on earlier in the season because once you've got these in the cooler weather leading up to the summer and once you've harvested them you can blanch them and freeze them and have a ready supply for months ahead so it's a good strategy and you can grow them nice and early and still get your cauliflowers so going back to the hardy raisins, as I say, the broad beans are hardy down to minus 10. And you'll find that with all the varieties or anything that you want to sow, the information will be there for you online. But as a general rule, hardy means hardy. It's, it's strong and it will withstand cold to a certain degree. Just investigate whichever one it is that you sow in, that it can withstand the temperatures that you're likely to get in your area. If you move on a step, you can move on to half hardy annuals. And what that means is that they, they're reasonably strong, but they can't really take a frost too much. They could take a light frost in, but not a harsh frost. And in general, what you want to be doing with the half hardy annual is sowing them sort of three to four weeks before your last frost date so that you can grow them on undercover, you can germinate them on a windowsill, grow them on undercover in a cool greenhouse or on a windowsill, and then after your last frost days has come and gone, you can plant them outside. Annuals, you really want to be sowing those direct to the soil. But if you've got that information to yourself, you're educating yourself, and you know you can go and check up online uh, to see if that plant is hardy or half hardy or just an annual you've got that information to hand already and you're further um, further educated to know how to look for a seed how to prepare for it and how to grow it and it's the same with biennials biennials you sow one year you grow one plant out and it will flower the next year and in general with biennials you sow those sort of uh, sort of uh, end of May, June time. So you've got this constant cycle of sowing periods and growing them on. And this is what I like to do with, with my seeds overall, is to spread out everything to lessen the pain. There are some people who say there's a lot of faff with growing seeds and growing plants on and a lot of molly coddling you've got to do. This compost was watered before I planted these broad beans. I don't have to do anything with that now until the plants are this tall. The only thing I might have to do with it is water it. That's a big hardship. It's, you know, there's, there's no faffing around with it. There's no messing around. This little tray of seedlings, I'll have to prick them out and move them on into another, another bigger module pot eventually and eventually plant them out. But I have to do that with any seed anyway. The thing I'm doing by sowing them early is I'm spreading that out. So in a few weeks, I will have these to prick out. But the same token, in a few weeks, I will have sown a couple more varieties. And it means the week after I prick these out, I will have something else to prick out. So I'm not giving myself more work. 
I'm actually saving myself work. It doesn't mean I'm inundated with tray after tray of seedlings that suddenly I've got to deal with. And this is key, is if you follow the seasons and you follow the hardiness ratings of the seed that you're sowing, you'll be far better educated and your, your time in growing these plants will be a whole lot less stressful. And that's important. You don't want to have so much to do that you think, oh, I can't face it and walk away and leave them or try to rush the job because you've got so much to do and end up killing the plants. Spread it out, be easy. So, yes, you can sow in January. You can sow every month of the year without fail. There's always something to do. And these are just veg. I've got flowers to do as well. So, again, this is why I like to spread them out. And over the next couple of weeks, there'll probably be 10 or 15 varieties of different types of flowers that I will sow to add to my allotment garden and here in my garden at home as well. So, yes, you can definitely sow in January. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. And more importantly, I hope you got something for that. Do look up the seeds that you want to sow. If you decide you want to sow tomatoes, I'll tell you now, it's too early for them. But have a look at them. See whether they're hardy, half hardy or an annual. And then from that, work out when you need to sow them to get them to grow. All the information is there. You just need to work it out for your particular conditions. I won't be sowing mine for a couple of months yet, so uh, there's no rush, but I've got lots of other stuff to sow. So I do hope that's helped. Look for the hardiness ratings of the plants and sow according to the seasons and to the weather patterns that you've got at home. But that's it for today. Look after yourselves, everyone. Please stay safe. and I'll see you all very, very soon. Ciao now.